if you flaunt money, I have the right to ask you how you made it. This is coming from media personality Shade Ladipo. She went on to say, as a generation, we are quick to forget to ask the question, how does this person make money? We live in a generation that just celebrates money without caring about anything else. That's why the most popular people on social media are usually the ones with flashy things. Are we agreeing? You're clapping this time. Yeah. Okay. Um, first I, I have to agree with her. I mm. think um, we just humans in general are we're shallow for the most part. I mean, when I'm when I'm w walking in life, I'm not always in my thinking cap. I think I just judge people. I, I'm going to admit, I just judge people on a very shallow basis, like the first five seconds, and, you know. Um, and we like flashy things, and that's why there's a lot of proverbs around, yeah. like not everything that glitters is gold, kind of like to tame us down, but we like what we like. Um, depending on how loose you are and how unguarded your mindset is and your discipline and stuff, you can get carried away by fla other people's flashy things and not really dig deep. Um, I have to agree, though, that if you have, and I've said it before when we were having a conversation on Twitter, about Twitter, and I said, once you make it on social media, it is my business to ask. Now, if, I, if you put a flashy thing on social media and I ask, you don't have to reply me. You don't. That's, that's still part of. Stand. That's still part of. Right, that's still right? part of the freedom. Keep but asking. I have a right to ask, and mm. you don't have to answer. But the idea that I'm saying I should stay in my business is actually not right. I can, I can say I've I've put it out there to this point, but I want to stop here. And you should be able to allow the backlash to happen because that's what social media is for. Um, it is very critical though for more serious things because for if I'm asking you now, for example, I'm asking in like a normal civilian or whatever. Um, it's very different. But if I'm asking somebody that claims to be a role model and it's like really loud and has a public um, like reputation to it because now you're putting credibility to that person's name and there's something questionable about their their source I get worried a bit about that it's I, I noticed that in Nigeria it's a lot more frequent than other parts of the world in terms of celebrities that have a lot of money and we don't know where the source is coming from and mm -hmm. doesn't align yeah. usually even abroad when we see that they will tell you like well, I'm doing sugar sense. daddy things or like you know they'll give you they'll give a posh name for it or like they'll call it hypergamy or you know they'll have a way of branding it but they're quite honest because you still have to do taxes and all that type of stuff but here we don't really have that and there will be people telling you that they wrote books and uh, they're acting hmm. and singing and i'm just like mm, doesn't really add up obviously there's other incomes i've met people personally like celebrities in nigeria that have private businesses legible ones but don't say it they'll actually tell you that they don't want people to know we have a problem of secrecy in this country. yes and i think that's also a problem like Ojai. because then it looks the, the difference between <laughs> the difference between somebody who is legible and um, like legal and somebody who is like you know in tampering and other things is not very blur because there's secrecy and all that type of stuff involved. yeah even the ones you think are open like you mm. think oh if i google i know what they are doing the people will tell you the real thing that is giving them money you don't know. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know why we are that way. However, I don't think it's normal or right for you to just see anyone post anything on social media and you just go and ask, how did you, you make, make your money? money? Like, I, I, don't think eh? it, I don't think it's that um, um, <clears throat> direct, though. I think it's over. It's okay. not that direct. A good direct, example to shake the table, that really. It that way. No, well, to shake, to the, shake table. the table, really. Mm -hmm. like, so, someone like Soke Makinwa now, oh, it's wow. not because of one post that they're going to ask, like, oh, so I see a Fenty bag there. No. It's like a series of events, like the lifestyle oh, that she... real to Hush Poppy. Hey, or Hush Poppy. That, 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 let's be real. Like, it's not just like, oh, if I puts a picture of him in a brand Bentley, and all of a sudden everybody's asking, no, if he starts to put a picture of him in a Bentley, tomorrow he travels to Japan, and next day he's on of pirate jet and then he's doing like a steady 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 like showing this lifestyle well, of course we're gonna ask and i don't think it's anything wrong with that hmm. people have heard when to ask so it's not where somebody posts one shoe now you see where <laughs> making money, you know? but I, I i i hope that we get to the point of this like accountability because it helps to inspire people over the weekend the news of kanye west making his billions Billion, yeah. was what was going around of course he he had to do his thing to remind forbes that guys it's not you don't know one, one it's three, three. <laughs> right, right? Yeah. of course I, that was so hilarious but that's one thing i always admire about their lifestyle even when you compare um our own fob fob list in africa and the one you see in the western world the difference is clear mm. they will tell you they made this money from here he made this from easy he made this from Real streams estate, he made this properties. from his investment he yeah. made this from you know it is easy for you to see even when they're in debt and somebody is bailing them out you know at, at this point he was broke his wife had to step in there is a level of accountability and transparency but right here well it's i'll consider of, it a stupid mm -hmm. question if you if, it, if a person's source of income is public yeah and then yeah, you're that's now coming one. to ask mm -hmm. how did you make your money like you Google, know what i friend. do 
Do you mm. understand? I, I'll consider it a Well, I guess they question. ask that when the disparity is there. So if, like, mm. let's say the idea is that, like, even if you're in the top, 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 top of, like, it's the acting. I'm, 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 I'm just ranting now. And let's say it's one million naira, like, it's the top, 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 top that like you get for salaries, yeah? And then you see that the person is living in, like, 15, 50 million naira worth of lifestyle. Then even if your, 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 your source of income is public, it's still, there's still a huge discrepancy. So, therefore, we know it's not acting. There's something else. So when they get mm -hmm. a gift or something, they need to come you will get a gift of 50 million. Nah, let's be no, no, no. Let's let's not let's not downplay. We know what we're talking about. We know what we're talking. We know what we're talking about. There's difference. All the people that don't have enough spend deals and and and. But I think there are people that um, if like you said, if they are if they're thinking it's public, you just need to research and find out. They cannot come and be answering everybody. Yes, I made the one person crop and then and then I think it's even going to be. I don't think they need to answer, but it's, good, it's okay to ask. On my okay, comment so se yeah, section, yeah. to come and ask me that. If you really want to know my source of income, then slide into my DM. Or send an email, right? Or send an email. Okay.